Unless it's a conscious choice that someone knows the alternatives, women shouldn't feel the need or feel pressure to be submissive to their husbands, or their boyfriends, or to men in general. That kind of thinking that women should feel obligated to be submissive to guys is exactly what feminists call the patriarchy. It's part of that same thing. You can hate the word patriarchy all you want, but as time is going on, we're starting to see the people who want to push that kind of mindset starting to get really angry with the forces that are going against it. When it comes to that kind of patriarchal message, you don't get to push that anymore out to the public without some pushback. The cat is out of the bag. Those kinds of traditional viewpoints of women, those kinds of usually religious viewpoints, are going to be looked at unfavorably. And yes, this goes against your religious beliefs. Again, you don't get to push these religious kinds of messages and dogma onto the public without there being some pushback. And no, it's not religious persecution. If you want to have those beliefs and follow them for yourself, fine, no one's going to get in your way. But the moment you expect others to do the same, or treat people in a way that makes them feel bad for not doing the same, then you can go fuck yourself. And let me be clear when it comes to families, okay? People in a household need to take on responsibilities for that household to work. But that doesn't mean that one should feel obligated to take on traditional roles. Again, if someone makes the conscious choice to do such, and they know about alternatives, and they're not getting all these feelings of guilt if they want to consider some of the alternatives, then fine. But putting a sense of guilt into women, unless they take on those kinds of roles, is a fucked up thing to do to someone. It's incredibly crippling to their mind and to their potential. Just as it's a fucked up thing to put the fear of hell into children, and to make them scared of thinking about anything that goes outside their religious dogma they're taught. And no, we're not going to make it illegal to do such things, but there's going to be nothing out there anymore to protect or shield you from criticism of those beliefs. That's done and over with. That time has passed. You're not going to get it back. Do we need to do the same with other oppressive beliefs? Certainly. But the thing that we need to put the most focus on are the types of beliefs that are the most common, the ones with the most power and influence in the country you reside. Anyway.